This book is called So Much, one of the books that you sent me. And I was reading it to my daughter the other night and my son came downstairs and he heard us reading it. He was like, Mummy, why do I know this book? Mm. I was like, we used to read this book to you every night, every night without fail, about the family getting together and it's um, a surprise party for the dad. Mm. One disappears out the goodie bag. I took it. <laughs> This book is by an Olympic medalist oh. and at the back of it it says it explains who this person is. So it's a fencer, the first Muslim American woman in a hijab to compete for the United States in the Olympic Games. This is the goodie bag that the children from ages 0 to 5 will be receiving. Hungry little minds. This is what you'll be getting. And these are some of the things that you'll find inside it. Each bag is different, um, so sometimes you'll get something like this. It will give you ideas on, on what to do with your child in regards to play. It's fantastic. In regards to bath time as well, because every child loves to, to play and splash around at bath time. Also, ways in which to engage with your child, um, talking to your child, speaking with them. It gets you to do different things with them as the child gets older. It's fantastic. The Hungry Little Minds have put this together for you to encourage you to, uh, to interact, which I think is absolutely great. Even tells you, as children as young as this, how to interact with them whilst you're changing their nappies. Then, ding dong! Ooh, mum looked at the door. The baby looked at mum. It was... Auntie, Auntie Biba, cousin, cousin KK and big cousin Ross. Cousin KK came inside, he spin up his hat round and round and he do like you ride in a horsey, giddy up, giddy up. But the baby played bounce bounce with Ted, played bounce bounce in his cot and he remembered everybody saying how they wanted to squeeze and kiss and eat and fight him. Also, a plate of marmalade toast and a leftover cake from yesterday. She stuffed the morning paper into her pocket and sneaked off towards the door. Mrs. Large ran a deep, hot bath. She emptied half a bottle of bath foam into the water, plonked on her bath hat and got in. She poured herself a cup of tea and lay back with her eyes closed. It was heaven. Go on, all of you downstairs. You let Lester play his tune, said Laura, before they all came in to join her. I love this book. All parents need five minutes peace. This book is called Five Minutes Peace and it's by Jill Murphy.